So why should I be afraid of a man? Oh, I've killed a lion and I've killed a king. Oh, with these bad things. Uh, 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 Trey, I knew we were not qualified for this. I knew we couldn't do this. I knew we were not qualified for this. I knew the journey was too Trey, hard. I Trey. Just... Calm down. Who are you fear to We're take going to do the will of God. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for giving Who us the opportunity to do to your will. We are your servants. You have given us strength. I thank you for showing us how we can reach the unqualified, the broken, the lost, so that we can show them your glory. Holy Spirit, thank you for giving us power. Thank you for giving us wisdom and revelation beyond what and man can understand. God, we honor your word. And we thank you for allowing us to do your will because that's what we're going to do. I'm running into my promises. Running into my promises. Running into my promise. Here I come, here I come, here I come. I'm running. Hey, bro, you don't belong here, G. You belong here, mother. You, you understand the journey that we had to take just to get here. Man, get out of here. 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 You're right, we don't belong here, and neither do you. We know what it feels like to be broken. We know what it feels like to feel unqualified. We know what it's like when addiction becomes your God. That shame, that pain, that led you to the city of the unqualified, we know it all too well. Suicide, depression, we've been there. This is the ex-homosexual talking, the ex-prostitute. It's here telling you guys that God redeems. You don't have to be shameful. You don't have to be afraid to, to, to accept God into your life. We've been there. We understand that pain, and we just want to be there for you guys to be able to bring you guys to the light that we found. That darkness eats you alive, but you don't have to deal with that darkness by yourself. But Jesus has recovered us, recovered from molestation, Recovered from homosexuality, recovered from grief of even losing my father. And what's even more, recovering from addictions that took over our lives, recovering from childhood trauma, recovering from loss, and, and so many more things. And honestly, there are areas where Jesus Christ is still recovering us. Yet, 
we decided that we were going to take a chance on God. You're here with nothing. Nothing but the things of this world that may feel like they're filling you, but you come back to them time and time again because you know you feel empty. You have to stop running from God just because you feel like you're unworthy or you feel like he can't love you because of the things that you've done. <laughs> Actuality, he loves you more than you love yourself. He loves us more than we love ourselves. And the moment that you take the time and the opportunity to really grow in an intimate relationship with your savior, Jesus Christ, with your heavenly father, you will see that is so much more. Will you leave this place and join us on a journey that will show you even though you feel unqualified, just how much Christ makes you qualified. And if so, just raise your hand and we're gonna leave the city of the unqualified today. No longer living in this barren wasteland. You will be renewing your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yet it will be so worth it. And hallelujah. Oh my scars, you're not big. To keep me from the promises the God, God has made for us. Oh, my scar, you're not big enough to keep us from the promises the Father made for us. Oh, my scar, you're not big enough to keep us from the promises Father made for us. Some of you need to look your scars in the eyes. Tell them to get off your promise land. Some of you look your scars in the eyes. Tell them to get off your promise land.